All right, I gotta go back. Something happened and I lost a couple of minutes of footage. You know what? I don't even care. It's such a good day that I'm not even gonna get mad. You know what happened the other day to my reactions? I sit around and I did four reactions and all of them got blocked before I could even upload them. And I got pissed off. I'm gonna do one tonight though. I think we'll find out. I don't know. See how this one goes. In the wintertime, when you come out here and everything's dead, um, you don't be hearing no birds or nothing like that. All you hear is just the trees creaking, some wind. It's cold as hell. Your ears is red and ringing. You don't really want to be up here. Today, it's like I almost want to put my toes in the water and see what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, though. I'm in my 30s, man. We don't, we don't swim like that no more. But I think I might swim with the nephews tomorrow. I don't know. I think I will. I might. Drown. I'm not going to drown. I'm worried about my nephew Aaron. He is the only one I'm worried about, man. The little boy is for real afraid of water too much. He's He was swimming in the river that was 20 feet deep and didn't have an issue with it. But he's afraid to get water like in his hair or in, on his head. I don't understand. Like, How can you not be afraid of what's underneath of you, but you're afraid of what's over top of you? <laughs> Whatever. It don't make no sense. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk into the opening. One of my favorite spots to fish is around up here, but I just don't know if I wanna get wet because I know it's all swampy. Because even in the wintertime when I'm in the way, there's it's like a couple, uh, you think about six inches to really get in them really good angles of fishing. But like I said, it's the wind up here and the wintertime is unreal. Like you have to, Really be patient with it because your casting is going to make it's going to be adjusted every single time you try to throw a line out. I mean, and you can expect 15 20 mile an hour wind for sure. Look, another cotton plant. I think everybody would like it out here. What? Pink lady orchids? Lady flipper orchids. There's some berries right there behind it too. Huh. They're dying though, he says. Hey look, dead fish, catfish. Oh. Oh well. A dead half a catfish head. <laughs> something got something. It was eating. Baby, we need kayaks out here. This is where I come to fish at in the wintertime. I'm on this whole bank, but it's all swamp, like I said. But it's lower, so it's even worse when you're out there in waders because it'll come up to your titties if you, uh, you know, ain't expecting it to. It gets deep quickly. Right now I'm sinking into a little tiny bit, but not really, it ain't bad. It's just like, you know, it feels like if he was jumping on a mattress or something. Huh? I'm gonna know if you go in, you're gonna, your legs gonna shrink. <laughs> it's gonna, you're gonna disappear. <laughs> Damn it, I'm caught in somebody's fucking fishing line. Yeah, it is. Try to find that trail out of there. This is the real swamp. <laughs> oh, we can't get across there. You can go back up the trail over here. There ain't no trail. We're going to make a trail, you guys. <laughs> It ain't, it ain't bad out here. Um, even when it's nice like this and you gotta get your ankles wet, so what? We're okay, we're human. We're not gonna die. Unless I get stuck in sumac and then I'll turn a different race. No joke. It will turn me different. Different. <laughs> it's a deer trail. 
that ain't been used in a long time. Somebody done got Bambi. Huh. Checking my legs for them extra buggers that like to walk on you. And give you Lyme disease. Them things are horrible. Okay, back to the trail. <clears throat> That's probably good for hunting. Be up in there with a bow or something. Looking for Bigfoot. There's a little seating bench along the trail for you to stop and get some air, a breather, a drink. Matter of fact, let me get a drink real quick. Let me set this up, you guys. Wait a minute. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> we real you know why uh, this state has probably got I don't know how many lakes it's got I don't know how many ponds it's got half of them are probably honestly not walked on for the most part until the NR or somebody decides that it's got enough access to where they could you know, put fish in there, open it up. Uh, it's okay to do that, I guess. You know, you just gotta be in the right spot, have the right patience, because some stuff you might have to make your own trail to get a good shot or something. That's what it comes down to, honestly. That looks like somewhere you would hunt at. It's a whole open field. I mean, that's thick for us, but for animals, shit, that's like gallop, gallop. Yeah, they frolicking. <laughs> Sal won't frolic. Oh, God, I'll frolic right now. Sal won't do it. Nah, I ain't gonna frolic. It's too hot for that. I don't want to sweat everything out that I just had to drink. <sighs> Baby, you want to drink? Yeah, back out the car. This man right here, like I'm telling you, honestly. I don't feel like we married sometimes. I'm going to keep that in the video. That's for a fight later. Okay, so. A lot of. When me and Lee was up here last time, last winter. There was a lot of little browns in this little channel. That's like a walkway over there somewhere. Um, but this is like. A nice little area but it's so windy down this side that you got to almost cast down toward it and that's why i say when i'm out here i go toward the end anyway you know um they come around believe me they they definitely swim in circles out here pit in so many tried at one time like over 1200 pounds at a, a stocking so but it is like a lot of people up here too so you actually got to be like here early um if you're an old head and you know they're gonna stock somehow you're here and like five in the morning before them trucks even pull up to throw in the fish you know i don't know um i've only been around a stocking like three or four times in my life that are like uh, accidental <laughs> um, and they throw it in right beside me and i still ain't catch them right there so it's whatever i don't know this is where the browns were they're right up in here, cause I was almost in there with the stick. Something just went back up there. See, he said something just went up in there. Try to scare it out on the other side. Let's see what it is. Probably a fucking frog. Yeah, it was big. Cause there, there was in there. There was one that was in this little turn, and there was like four or five in there. Um, up through here, and I almost could have grabbed one with, a, with my hand. <laughs> it was chunky. Ugh. Yeah, I can't see up in there. Sorry about the wind, it's real.
best friend. Hi, best friend. <laughs> That's my best friend. That's my best friend. <laughs> my whole goal was to annoy him this whole trip, but in a good way. Yep, I win. <laughs> I hope I can put all these together the right way because I want y'all to see like this is such a good trip like and it's only like two hours away and you get a whole hell of a good day you know um yeah this is paradise in the country man for real Spruce Lake I don't know how deep it is out there in the middle not for sure but they say that there's some musky up in there too I don't know apparently there's a lot of ginseng up here um, I don't know much about it. I guess I couldn't identify it besides I think there's something red on it. Uh, and look at all my mama's favorite trees with the pink dogwoods. Peekaboo. I see it too. <laughs> I'm in love, love. <laughs> Uh, correction, that was not a pink dogwood, that was a pink azalea. Oh well, it was pink, okay? I know that much. If Bigfoot's real, he out here somewhere, why wouldn't he be? You got miles of like, your own space. Do whatever the fuck you want to out here. Just wait till everybody go. Quietly stick across the trail, get you a drink of water. Get back to it, get you a trout or two, because you know you old as hell, so you know how to do it better than everybody else. She out here, Bigfoot out here. There's another opened up point. I don't like fishing in this corner because the wind hits you directly in the face here, but if you had some weighted line and you got out there a little bit to where you got in that channel that they turn into, you could probably get some lucky fish in there. It's not a bad little spot. I didn't want to go through the little Lee made trail he did uh, himself just a second ago, so I'm gonna go around. There's a lot of these little yellow flowers all around. A whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. Little baby pine trees. <laughs> it's a nice place up here, you guys. It really is. Just overall, it's good to walk around, get your, get your, get your cardio right. You know, that's always a good thing. You just gotta watch out for the critters. There's snakes in the way, maybe a turtle or two. That's real. But when you get out here, it's nothing but peace, you know. Uh oh, there's a goose nest. I wanna stay away from that when they're active. That's pretty screwed up that it chose to do it right there, though, of all places. That's cool. It's even circle like you can see the circle. You can definitely see it. It's kind of cool. Here we go. This spot right here is pretty nice. If you can't hear me, it's because of the wind. 